<laughs> well, good morning. We're down on Linford Lakes on Black Horse and uh, we're doing a bit of tench fishing. We've had a couple of rains, so things have been a little bit quiet, but as you can see, we've now got something on. Not quite sure as yet, but uh, we will soon find out. Right, well, as you can see, we was just talking about nuisance fish, and if, that, if, if that's the term, but um, I've just had a bream. Um, it was on the method feeder, the Dura method feeder, which I'm fishing with a, a little short mono hook link. Um, I was actually using maggots this morning, and they were quiet. Um, so we swapped over to um, three worms, or chop worms, on a little quick stop rig, on the hair. Um, with a, with a size 10 grappler hook, which I absolutely love. I use them for all manner of species that I fish for throughout the year. So um, what we're using, we've got some Sonia Bates Power Scopex ground bait with a few micro pellet. These are actually blood worm and some sticky krill two mil. They're both two mil. I just like to put them in there so the fish are grubbing around. Um, and what we're doing, I'm putting a few spots out over the top as well. Not too many, just topping up accordingly. So the tench fishing has been a little bit quiet. We have had one, but we've also had a few bream that seem to have moved in. So I'll just run through how we put the worm on. Just grab a couple of worms. I actually use large dendrobina worm. I'm used to fishing a lot of lobworm and stuff in the autumn for perch, so I just like, uh, you can obviously get dendras in, in all manner of sizes, small, medium and large, and I like to use the large ones, like go big or go home basically. So so that's what I tend to do, and I'm no different really for when I'm fishing for the tension. It's, it's served me all right over the last few weeks really, since the, uh, well, since the spring kicked in basically, and I've turned my attentions to tench. So we have got, we've got a little quick stop here. And again, the color of it doesn't bother me. It just tips it with a little, a little bit of different color, which may or may not make any difference whatsoever. But we use sweet corn, yellow, bright. Um, so yeah, in, in my head, in my head alone, it doesn't worry me too much that I'm tipping some worms with a, with a, a, a little yellow quick stop. So what we're doing, I've chopped the worm into, three or four bits and I'm just poking the the quick stop straight through the through the center of the chopped worm. Um, I made a little bit of a mistake a, a few years ago where I I used to punch them through the top and then have sort of loaded of dangly tentacles and stuff but what I found with that was you was more prone to um, to getting the, the worms actually wriggling back over the top and the point of your hook, so therefore missing missing the odd bite here and there. So I now I now give them a little bit of a chop, and I'll just show you in a second. 
So what you end up with is a ball of worm that we that nowadays is called the kebab rig. So um, we fish it on many different methods then if you like and uh, this is just one of them and I've now lost, I've lost, I reckon Ty's hit it. Where is it? I've got it, I've got it. I'd lost me method mould, so we're just filling, filling the the mould up. And again, I'm pressing it. I'm not too worried about it. I don't particularly want it coming off too thick, uh, too thick and fast. I've not got loads and loads of fish out there. I don't think that are smashing the place to bits. So, um, so there, there you have it. Little 40, 45 gram Dura Method feeder, 10 pound um, smoke shield hook link, mono, and a size 10 grappler hook, and then three worms finishing it off on a quick stop. So that is it, simple. There's three hook link materials that I like to use um, when I'm, I'm tench fishing or even, as we say, bream fishing. Um, today we're tench fishing, obviously. Um, and my go-to hook link is smoke shield. And again, today there's, there's, there's not too many carp in this lake, um, but if there was, I'd probably step it up to 10, but waters like this where you're not I won't say pestered, it's the wrong word, but where you've got a good chance of hooking a carp, then I scale down to eight pound. What I like about this hook link material also is the color. It sort of blends in with pretty much every situation on the lake bed. Um, so, you know, whether it's gravel, blanket weed, silk weed, it, it's pretty much transparent, so, um, so that's that. Size 10 grappler hook. Now I use these hooks for a lot of my fishing from barbel to chubbing to tench. And I've used them ever since they were released. So that's the grappler hooks. Today in a size 10, and I'm fishing with worm kebabs. So finishing off with a little, little quick stop where I'm, I'm physically putting on two, three, four, maybe pieces of chopped worm which are held in place with the, with the, with the quick stop. So that's, that is my go-to rig. Carefree, anti-tangle, and uh, yeah, puts fish on the bank. So the second rig that I'd like to show you, a hook link material, um, I use a helicopter style setup for a fair bit of my tench fishing. And um, 10 pound coated braid. It's not been, it's, it's only been released a short while now, but um, I should be using this in a, in a fair bit of my fishing, to be fair, uh, on lakes and rivers. So this is a 10 pound version. Once again, it's about four inches long. And generally I'll swap to this rig. If I've been using naturals uh, like maggots and worm and things are a little bit quiet and then I'd like to just swap to something a little bit more visual, the likes of maybe sweet corn, or in this case, it's some, some wafters, some banded wafters. So again, four inches long, down to either a, a size 10 or a size, uh, sorry, a size 10 grappler or a, an all rounder hook. And 100% confident in, in, in both of these hooks and what I like to do is, I'll just quickly show you with the, how we attach the, now what I'll do just quickly, a little tiny, tiny tight hair with a, with a band, um, just, just off the shank basically. And then what I do, I'll just get me banded tool.
pop her open on this occasion. So I've got a little little yellow Scopex 8mm wafter. There. And then what you have. What I generally do as well, just to leave a little tiny hinge down by the bottom of the hook. So it's a coated hook link and I leave about five mil uncoated, strip it off just down by the hook, just to give it a little, a little pivoting point. And if you like, so it's a wafter. So as it settles, the rig falls down nice and nice and slowly and then settles on the lake bed. But that, that there just gives me a little bit of visual, a little bit of color. Right, so I'm just gonna show you quickly how I load me feeder up now this is one of the combi feeders so you can take the caps off turning it into a ground bait feeder i plug the bottom with on this occasion good old scopex ground bait i had a little bit of hemp nice sonia baits oily oily hemp just a couple of pinches of that some micro pellet again blood worm micro pellet and some sticky pellet straight in the center of the feeder and then plug the top A little bit more. Let's get a rope there and see where we can sit. catch a fish. We're in, we're in, mate. I'm hoping this is going to be a tench. Let's hope. If this one's a brain, it's an angry brain, but I'm hoping that this is going to be a tench. <clears throat> Let's see how we go. Keep it away from the other rod. I was fishing them out there like tram lines, to be fair. Just on a on one baited spot. So just try to keep it away from the other. No, look, it's another bream. On the banded, on the banded waft up. Oh. Honestly thought that one was gonna be a tench. <clears throat> Right, my third hook link material of the day is the good old micro braid. Now, I like to drop down to a braid fishing behind, again, uh, a Dura method feeder or a method feeder, um, or the helicopter rig if I want to swap over to a maggot. Um, in conjunction, I like to use it with size 10 specimen hooks. They've got the interned, slightly interned eye, finer wire than than the grappler so perfect for the maggot and uh, rather than tying it off with a standard knot then I tie it hairstyle and then just cut off the little tag end so that I get a better progression of the of the hook or the angle coming off the top of the hook just like it, like you would do if you was fishing a hair rig so uh, yeah get on the maggot As you can see, we've had a bit of a day of it. 
Ty was just packing the cameras away and uh, lo and behold, we've, we've actually had a couple last knock-ins. Um, we've had, I don't know, numbers and numbers of bream. The bream have absolutely hammered us today, but we have managed a couple of tench on the tactics that, that we've explained. So yeah, we've had a great day. It's been hard, but yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs>